Hi, it's Cam from Crafty Cat here, and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on the three different coordinate systems you can use in DoubleCAD. So to get started, I'm just going to right click on a toolbar, and we'll get the customize box pop up. I want to check chord system and hit close. Now you can see there's three options here: there's absolute coordinates, relative coordinates, and polar coordinates. We'll start off in absolute coordinates. Absolute coordinates works around the world origin point at zero zero. Um, so if we draw a circle and I type in zero zero, that the center of that circle appears at my world origin. Similarly with a line, if I select a line, type in zero comma zero, that start point is at that world origin. Now if I'm drawing a series of lines, and I want this next line to be 50 mil long and perfectly horizontal. If I just type in 50 comma 0, you'll see it actually jumps to a point relative to this world origin. So that's 50 mil on the x direction and 0 on the y from that world coordinate. So to actually do what I just tried to do, I need to draw a few lines and then if I switch into relative coordinates and type in 50 comma 0 what it does it actually treats the last line last point that I've drawn as my origin point for the next tool so if I now type in 0 0 you see that line starts from the last point that I've drawn so if I want a line that's 50 mil in the x direction or 50 mil in the y direction now I can type 50 comma 50 so it's just taking that last point and use that as my zero zero. Now you can actually force relative points while using absolute coordinates. So if I'm drawing a line, and again I need this line to be 50 mil in the x direction or 50 mil in the y direction, rather than just typing those numbers in, I'm going to type in an at symbol, which tells DoubleCAD that this is going to be a point relative to the last one I've drawn. So I type at 50 comma 50. And you can see it's used this as my 0, 0, I've gone 50 in the X and 50 in the Y. Now polar coordinates are a little bit different in that rather than taking two points for an X and a Y, they take a length and an angle. So if I need a line that's 50 mil long and 45 degrees, I type in 50, use the less than sign, and type in 45. So that's a 50 mil line from that origin point that I've drawn at a 45 degree angle. Again, if I want to type in another, uh, 120 at a 32 degree angle, I type in 120 less than, which tells DoubleCAD that the next value is going to be an angle, and 32. So I hope this has clarified the difference between the three coordinate systems. Um, feel free to leave comments or suggestions on my website which is www.craftycad.com or on the YouTube page. Thanks for watching.